Hi everyone and thanks for joining us today. Our webinar will begin in just a moment, but we wanted to share this video of John from Zimbabwe sharing his experience teaching in the USA with EPI. So here is his story. I come from Africa, that's Zimbabwe. It's a bit special because it has got a lot to offer in terms of culture. My hometown is in Harare. It's a nice town. It's a town full of people who are very adventurous and a bit innovative. The thing that made me to join EPI was just to see the world, how other people are teaching, what are the other cultures. People here are very loving, kind, to the extent that they can even help you when you don't know them. And it's something that I never expected. I thought I would just be passing by people. They don't even see you. They actually want to know more about myself. If you're teaching in Zimbabwe, when you tell kids, uh, this is what they have to do. They really just have to do what you said. But here in America, you have to encourage them to do it. I didn't think I could be able to manage students uh, their behavior. You have to motivate to make sure that they are able to do it. But at the end, the amazing part is they are able to do it and they'll be excited to do it. Teaching in years, it has made me to develop especially the use of uh, instruction technology. I I've learned a lot. One of the major aspects that I'm going to bring to Zimbabwe is the good part of technology how it can be innovated into our system, how we can integrate it for the benefit of our kids in schools. Cultural exchange is important because it causes people to understand uh, different backgrounds without even traveling to that country. It also causes people to accept one another and you actually get to give these young ones an inspiration even to go yonder the borders, to go even and do greater things in other nations. Everybody and welcome to our webinar, How the EPI Process Works. My name is Jessica and I am the content coordinator for Educational Partners International. I'm from the mountains of North Carolina and before working for EPI, I taught English at the community college level. Today I will be talking with you about what you can expect in our program from when you begin your application to when you come to the United States. We also want you to take this opportunity to ask any questions that you have about our process. You can ask them in the comment box and we will answer them throughout the presentation. Keep in mind that we won't be able to answer questions about your specific application for privacy reasons. All of those should be emailed to team at teachwithepi.com. Today we will be explaining EPI's program and give you an overview of everything from the application to becoming a cultural ambassador. By the end of this presentation, you'll have a better understanding of each step of the process. If you're joining us for the first time, we are Educational Partners International, or EPI for short, and we are a cultural exchange program that brings international teachers to teach in K-12 schools in the United States. 
Our mission is to bring some of the best teachers from around the world to come to the U.S. to share their cultural experiences. As you can read here, our goal is to strengthen K-12 education by discovering and empowering the world's best international teachers to facilitate authentic cultural exchange. While we work with schools across the southern United States, our home office is in the mountains of North Carolina, which you can see in the photo on your screen. We would love to know where you are from too, so please take the time to tell us in the comments. And wherever you are joining us from, thank you so much for watching. The EPI process is made up of these six steps. First, you fill out an application to determine program eligibility. Then your application is moved to the approved stage and you become eligible for school interviews. After completing a successful school interview, you become placed in a U.S. school. You then prepare for arrival and orientation in the U.S. and become an EPI program member. You will spend three years in the United States as an EPI teacher. Then you will return home to become a cultural ambassador. The first step in the EPI process is the application. EPI's application process is thorough and it does a few important things for you. First, filling out the application creates a professional profile for schools to look at when they are considering teachers for interviews. We also use the information you provide on the application to decide whether or not you meet our eligibility requirements. Some of the requirements for being an EPI teacher are that you are currently teaching, you have two years of full-time teaching experience, and you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree. EPI's application helps you collect the documents that you will need to apply for a visa, travel to the United States, and obtain a teaching license. You will also have two online interviews with EPI team members. The team will ask you questions about your teaching experience, classroom management, and lesson planning, as well as other topics that prove your eligibility and qualifications. After the interviews, you will be asked to provide proof of employment and credentials. Once you have uploaded all of your documents and passed two EPI interviews, you are moved to the approved stage. Being in the approved stage means that your application with EPI is complete, you have passed a background check, you meet our requirements, and you are now eligible for school interviews. Once you become an approved candidate, your application becomes a professional profile that is available to U.S. schools. They will look through the applications of all of our teachers in the approved stage to choose which ones to interview over a video call. If the interview goes well and the school is interested in working with you, you will then be placed. Placement means that you have accepted an offer from a school and will be coming to the USA to teach. Teachers who are placed through EPI teach in public, private, and charter schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. As soon as you arrive in the U.S., you will participate in EPI's orientation. During this time, you will learn more about life and education in the United States, as well as the rules and regulations of the Exchange Visitor Program. Our orientation lasts several days, giving you lots of time to ask questions and prepare for the upcoming school year. After you complete orientation, you become an official EPI program member. As an EPI program member, you will teach in the U.S. for three years. During that time, you will have access to 24-7 support from our trained and professional teacher support team. The relationship between you and the support team is an important one and will continue throughout your time as an EPI teacher. Members of the support team will be able to assist you with any challenge from culture shock to meeting the needs of struggling learners. Another key resource our support team will provide you is Launcher Classroom. Launcher Classroom is an EPI-created professional development program for teachers that includes videos, books, a website, and one-on-one -on -one coaching with an instructional specialist. 
We cover everything from classroom management and student engagement to lesson planning and classroom activities. As an EPI teacher, you will have free access to all of our professional development resources. At EPI, we understand that American students need the international perspective that teachers like you bring, and we are dedicated to doing all we can to help you deliver it. As an EPI teacher, you will also have the opportunity to share your culture with your students here in the United States through cultural exchange projects. Today, we have a couple of examples of the projects our teachers have done in the past. Edward from Taiwan had his students in America write to pen pals in China. He called it the International Academic Friendship Program, and here you can see one of the letters they wrote to each other. Judith, a 5th grade EPI teacher from the Bahamas, decided to bring the Junkanoo Festival to the USA. Her students made goatskin drums, cowbells, and headdresses to celebrate. After teaching in the United States for 3 years with EPI, you will then return to your home country where you will become a cultural ambassador. After you return, you will be able to share what you have learned in the U.S. with other people in your home country, just like you shared your culture while you were here. This is one of the most important steps in the whole process because this is what cultural exchange is all about, building mutual understanding between cultures by sharing your personal experiences. Okay, now we will be taking the time to address questions. If you have not submitted yours yet, please ask them now. We will be answering all of your questions in the comments section today. Here are some of the most common questions we get at EPI. Lots of applicants want to know how long the EPI program is, and we are a three-year program. People also ask, is there an application fee? The answer is no, there is no application or placement fee. There are other costs associated with your application, such as obtaining your diploma or transcripts, but EPI will never charge you an application or a placement fee. Another question we often get is, is there an age limit? So no, there is no age limit. As long as you meet our basic requirements, you can join the EPI program regardless of your age. Some of those requirements are that you are currently teaching with at least two years of full-time teaching experience, you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree, and you have advanced English skills. We also have some other questions that have been on our applicants' minds more recently. Most people want to know, is EPI still accepting applications? So yes, EPI is continuing to accept and process applications. You can apply by visiting our website, teachwithepi.com. For more information about what our application process looks like at this time, please email our admissions team at team at teachwithepi.com. Another question that applicants have is, can I put my application on hold? And yes, you are able to start your application and later put it on hold if you need to. There is no obligation to continue once you have started. You can then choose to resume your application at a time that is better for you and your personal situation. Finally, our applicants have been wondering, how does EPI support teachers during times of uncertainty or emergencies? We always prioritize the safety of our program members and provide support for any situations that may arise while they're in the United States. For example, since the outbreak of COVID-19, we have been monitoring the situation, providing detailed guidance for our teachers, and operating at a normal capacity so that we can be available for all of our program members. So now that you know more about our program, it's time to talk about next steps. First, if you have not yet applied, go to teachwithepi.com and start your application. Once you are there, you click the apply button and answer the eligibility question. Then you will be able to make an account with your email address and begin the application process. If you have started your application but have questions, email us at team at teachwithepi.com. To end today's presentation, I would like to share this quote that illustrates the importance of international education. J. William Fulbright was a U.S. Senator and founder of the Fulbright Program. 
He said, there's a multiplier effect in international education, and it carries the possibility, the only real possibility, of changing our manner of thinking about the world, and therefore of changing the world. Here at EPI, we understand how important it is to provide students with a global perspective, and we are so excited to give both you and those students the opportunity to experience authentic cultural exchange. That's all for today, everyone. If you are interested in our upcoming webinars, go to teachwithepi.com slash webinars and sign up for our mailing list. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook to hear about our upcoming events, as well as to hear more from our current teachers. If you have any more questions, please email us at team at teachwithepi.com. On behalf of everyone at EPI, thanks for joining us and have a great day.